A huge fire ripped through a steel plant in Ambridge. That was early this morning. Firefighters from dozens of companies were needed to knock down the flames. Chris Hoffman has more on the damage left behind. Around 5 Saturday morning. And the thing was blazing. It was so hot, it was across the street, you couldn't even hardly stand across the street from it. That's when the Ambridge Fire Chief Rob Gottschalk says the Suck Up Steel Structures facility went up in flames. The blaze was right across the street from the fire department. I walked down here and it was just shooting out. There was only a few uh, fire trucks here. Right behind the bushes there were flames, at least, at least 20, 30 feet above the bushes there. Chief Gottschalk says about 8 to 12 people were inside at the time of the fire and were able to make it out. It quickly spread the length of the building, which runs from 11th Street to 14th Street. According to the chief, water pressure was an issue. But once we did get water flowing, then we called tankers in from numerous communities. Then uh, we, we were able to hit it the way we wanted to. The heat also proved to be a challenge as crews worked for several hours to put out the flames. More than a dozen companies from around Beaver and Allegheny County were called to the scene to resupply the guys that were here for fighting the fire from the get-go. Parts of the building's roof and structure collapsed. The chief calls this a tough break for the community as the plant employs about 100 people. This company here was one of our biggest companies in Ambridge, and yes, it's a terrific blow to the borough of Ambridge. Now, as for the cause of this fire, the chief says it may take a couple days to figure it out because they still have to talk to employees and managers with the plant. In Ambridge, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. A statement from the plant's parent company says in part, as a family-owned business first and foremost, we're relieved no employees were injured in the fire. We'll be communicating instructions with employees and assessing damage to the property.